what up what up what up so today is uh all gas no breaks day we're gonna jump back into it like always uh today is september uh 24th it is almost the end of the month hope you guys are being very profitable this month all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into it all right all right so um i know you guys seen the title lessons learned from uh, my biggest trading mistakes we're going to go over a few things and hopefully this resonates with you. I'm not going to call you out, but if this is you, uh, just take it with a grain of salt and fix the problem. All right. Learning from the biggest trading failures is essential to a part of our growth and success in the, in this industry, um, along with anything else. You know, you always like in the military. Uh, again, I I'm retired military. So a lot of the lessons we learn come from the failures. That's why we do after action reviews. That's why we do uh, uh, risk management worksheets and things of that nature. And it's just important to acknowledge and learn from the losses. Just keep in mind, you will never learn anything from your wins. You can learn, but the more lo the, the losses or the failures, that's where you have these seeds planted to grow. All right. And um, one of the biggest pitfalls of, uh, of traders is we often encounter is the fear of missing out. I know if you heard of it, if you've been in the game for even a, a week or two or a few months, you heard of FOMO. Uh, the fear, this fear is caused causes us to have impulse decisions, uh, often without being uh, without without doing our due diligence or considering the risk. Another common mistake is over leveraging our accounts, which can lead to significant losses in the market. Uh, doesn't move in our when it, when the market doesn't move in our favor. Additionally, many traders fail. To have clear trading, uh, a trading strategy or a plan needs to be rolled down somewhere. Things of that nature. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you a little tidbit of what I have, and I just hope I just keep it up there. Again, I don't day trade like that. I, I trade up the daily time frame, and I'm gonna show you that I still keep it up uh, for when I uh, enter trades. All right. Additionally, many traders fail uh, due to the lack of discipline and consistency in their trades. All right. And finally, some traders get caught up. With the emotions of trading, allowing fear, greed, euphoria to cloud their judgment and dictate their decisions. All right. I get a lot of questions, and I'm not going to go too deep into this, but I get a lot of questions about when you're trying to learn a trading strategy. Uh, oh, can I do this strategy on the four hour? Can I do you have if you have a full time job? Honestly, in my decision, in my my synopsis, you should not be day trading. If you have a job, you shouldn't be on, on the job site. Uh, uh, looking at trades, placing trades, because that's not where your focus should be at. You get what I'm saying? But you see on Instagram or you see on YouTube or and these people making these big time trades, you trying to get there, you quit your job, you want to quit your job, blah, blah, blah. All right. That's also a fear of missing out. All right. So if you take it with anything, I'm going to tell you one thing. I was uh, um, about six years ago, I was a pretty obese person in the army. I was fat. All right. And then I uh, went to the doctor, things of that nature. And then I, was, I started losing the weight. You know, I lost almost 70 pounds um, and I'm back to where I need to be at right now. But uh, I'm a, I, a long story short, I say this. It took I couldn't just snap my fingers and the weight came off the next day. It was a four year process. You get what I'm saying? Eventually, gradually, I did something to work on. it. I worked out every day, watched my eating habits. And it, in four years, I've lost the weight. Now, I lost too much weight, but um, that's another story for another day. I say that to say this. In trading, stop trying to get it overnight. You just got, I'm trying to replace my, I mean, I'm trying to replace my income in the, in the next month. Yes, it could happen, but it's that sustainable. A lot of you guys don't want to hear the truth. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with taking four years to get to where you can get to a better spot in life? You get what I'm saying? All right, fear, greed, and euphoria can particularly be destructive because they can lead to a vicious cycle of chasing losses or riding a winning streak for too long. This is exactly what happened. Uh, what happens all the time during one of the biggest trading failures? Um, you can be on a high street, and you, your confidence can be hot, sky high, and you uh, you start to trade with more risk, thinking that you're invincible. But of course. The market eventually cor corrects it, corrects itself, and you'll find yourself with huge losses. Devastating, right? Uh, but you got to learn from your mistakes to move forward. All right. 
Uh, another major mistake is uh, failing to diversify trades, uh, putting all your eggs in one basket, you know, uh, and when that basket crashed, then what? You left with nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you that on the daily time frame, you got 30 something pairs. If you're using the right, you have the right size account, you know, well, let's just say you have a nice size account uh, that you're starting up with. You know what I'm saying? Say you got a $5,000 account or a $1,000 account. But if you have seven, eight pairs, you're doing the right risk management. You know what I'm saying? For that account, you know, you might have eight trades. Now, think of this. If you have eight trades and you only lose one with the right, if you risk right for every single one, you're still profitable for the month. But the problem is you might only make on that account 10 bucks, but you're like, man, 10 bucks ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to pay no bills. Here's the thing. How were you paying your bills before you started trading? Answer that question. How were you paying your bills before you start? So me personally, if I walked up to you and gave you 10 bucks or 100 bucks, would you turn it down? No. But the problem is you see all these other people. Uh, and I was in that same position at one point, too. But I didn't lose my job. I didn't get rid of my job. I kept my army job. And I was like, These, this stuff is going to pay the bills while I learn to trade. All right, I've been trading almost six years now, coming up uh, in November. And what I've learned through these six years, almost six years, is patience, patience, patience. Stop trying to get the money overnight. That's why I learned, I trade the daily time frame. All right. Um, you need to spread your risk out, have more balanced portfolio. All right. The experience taught me uh, the importance of risk management and how you had to need have how you need to have a plan in place when things go wrong. Um, you also got to stay humble. You know, you can't sit up here and win about seven trades in a row and think you're the best trader on the planet. All right. Cause then the market will correct and they show you who's the real boss. All right. And with that being said, that is my seven to 10 minute rant. All right. And let's get into what I'm, what we're going to get into. All right. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. One second, guys. Uh, boom. All right. So I'm going to wind this up. What I want you to do, and I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. So if you notice, every single video, I talk about the same thing. I talk about the same thing. Reason being is because I believe in muscle memory. Coming from the military, I believe in muscle memory, muscle memory, muscle memory, muscle memory. When I first went to Iraq, right, we were doing some stuff called reflexive fire. All right, before we start, are we uh, the caught on and search, uh, uh, caught on and search? All right, and so we would practice this over and over and over. And I'm telling you, I would get so tired. I'm like, why do we keep practicing this? But all right, and we did this for about uh, 90 to 100 days beforehand. All right, and then when we got into country into Kuwait, we did it more. All right. And we this was all day thing. This was 90 days out. Uh, um, yeah, it was about 90 days out before we went 60 to 90 days out. And then when we got there for the two weeks before we broke the berm or went over the berm, it was the for the two weeks. We was out there all day doing the same thing over and over. Why? Because when we actually executed it, it was in our brain already. And our muscles just did it automatically. Get what I'm saying? So that with this trading strategy and this trading, uh, I try and I with the videos, I try to beat it into your brain. Stay with the same thing. Each trading strategy is profitable, ex even more profitable on the daily time frame. If you follow the rules, it's all about being strategic, not putting all your eggs in one basket. You know, and let me show you this. I'm going to go over here. Look at this. Let me see. Let me see if I can open list. I have all pairs that I look at. 31 pairs. All right, look at this. And if I get 10 trades for the month or 15, let's just say 15 pairs for some reason, you know, uh, the, um, the trading gods have smiled on all the pairs in Forex this month. And I get 15 trades, but I lose five. I've won 10, but lost five, right? But if you have the proper risk management, you still might be profitable. Granted, you know, if you use 1%, you know, probably, you know, not even 1%. If you're using all those, I would do 0.5%. All right. 
You know, it depends on how big your account is. If you have a nice size account, you can use one to three percent. But here's the case: say that one to three percent is only 150 bucks or 200, 300 bucks. Say it's only 300 bucks. You know what I'm saying? For that month. The, it's about the skill set. It's not about how much money you make. Because the, when you get more money, the one to three percent can go into the thousand, fifteen hundred for the month. You get a little more money, a little more capital. That's three thousand for the month. You get more capital. That's six thousand for the month. You see what I'm getting at? It's about the skill. It's not about how much money you make every month. It's about my dad always told me if you do something you love, the money will come. But if you do it for the money, it's gonna take a long time to get there because you don't love it. Do it, learn every learn all the ins and outs of the market, but not the strategy. Learn why the market is moving. Learn about CPI. Learn about FOMC. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Things of those nature. So you can have an educated guess why gold move, moves or not educated guess, but yeah, educated guess of why gold moves. Why the uh, Euro USD is moving. You know, inflation rates, things of that nature. Learn everything you can about the economy, but don't change your strategy if you have an edge. Because that's the problem why people get mixed up. Because you constantly, as soon as you lose one trade or you brand new to the trading game, and and I'm going to show you a loss here in a second, the, the loss I took this month. All right. But uh, where was that? You brand new to the trading scene and you want to trade the five minute time frame. You want to trade the 15 minute time frame. Or are you stuck on the charts all day trying to look for a trade? There's life outside of these walls. There's life outside. You can go walking. Like I said, you can go running, go and work out, go and meet people. See what I'm saying? All right. Stop trying to stop trying to get in the game thinking, I'm telling you, you better quit. You better quit now if you think you're going to just jump in this market and get $60,000 a month. It's good to have aspirations. You can have those goals, but you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. All right? And just think about it. Stop thinking about trying to get rich in one year. All right? If, especially if you're in your 30s. Hey, or if you're even in your 40s, you know what I'm saying? I get benefits through retirement. You get what I'm saying? But I didn't get that by the first year of the military. I got that for doing 24 years, putting on these boots every single day, and now I can reap the benefits of this. Stop trying to do it overnight. All right, that's my 12-minute rant. My bad. All right, so, and we're going to back test this strategy. I'm just show you one instance. I'm going to try to show you two instances, one for a buy sale and along with the uh, exactly how you calculate everything. All right. Wait for the price to break the. This is for a, a buy buy trade. Wait for the price to break above the twenty period moving average. Two candle lows must plot completely above the um the average. All right, to uh, to give a trading signal. Place the buy stop order twenty percent uh ATR above the high of the highest candle of the two candles. All right, set your stop at twenty percent uh ATR below the moving average. All right. And try your stops using the moving average. All right. So let's move this out the way. All right. I know you don't like to do math, but if you think, if you look at this, all right, all you got to do is go to your Google search bar. All right. Let's, let, let me back up. Let me back up. Indicators. And I do this every single. If you comment on below, if you use this strategy, Tell me how your, your win rate or tell me how you like the strategy. But if you're new to this, um, please leave a comment down below. If you like what I'm uh, ranting about so far, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, the subscribe button, and click the bell for notifications. All right. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is off the daily time frame. Daily time frame. If you look at the top up here, it says daily time frame. All right. Now we're going to go to SMA. All right. Then you uh, you go to simple moving average stocks and bots all right and then also it, and then click it it'll come up then you go to atr average true range all right and you click on those you go to the up here all right as you can see the inputs it says it, it might not say 20 when you first pull it up but i got 20 and that's the only thing you need unclick everything else all right go down to the atr all right inputs five period sma all right, and I have chart and I have wait for time frame to close. My style, 
uh whatever the style you want just click and then you do the thickness and opacity all right and then i just got these box checked out all right so here's the thing the numbers will only appear if you have this uh indicator selected right all right so and let's go let's bring let's bring this to the side so we can see all right here we go we're going for a buy uh buy trade but also at the bottom corner you can also well i'll get into that later all right we waiting for the break of the 20 p and sma this was a break but we want it completely to break completely all right this is the start of july all right here we go okay didn't completely break you see the week is on there all right and but also i'm gonna show you a trick just back test this see how this broke these two candles that broke you can do the highest of this candle all right but me personally i do that two bell two bullish candles i'm gonna show you both all right here's one all right And here's two. All right. So what we're gonna do is, if you cover over it with this uh, uh horizontal line or vertical line, it says 54. So what you do is 20% times 54 equals. Oops. Let me see. Equals. All right. And if you don't know that, just go to your Google search bar. Type in, you know, 20% time, uh, equals, and it'll tell you 10. All right, that equals 10.8. All right, and what you can do is you can come down to this, the one, two, three, four, five down, go to the price range tool, click it. All right, and we're going to go 10 up from here. All right, and let me see, 10.8. I just do 10.3. All right. And then go underneath here. Same thing, 10.8. Let's just do this. Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is, okay, where we at? Come on. All right. And then we're going to bring that down. And then we're going to bring this up. All right. And let me see. 175. Oh, goodness. 175. All right. Oops. 175. 175. All right. So we're going to place a buy stop at what? Up here. All right, this is where we're going to place a buy stop. Pending orders. So you place this pending order. You can go back to bed. Um, uh, you can go do what you got to do at one point four eight eight, And you don't have to stay on the chart. You can set alerts for this to go to your phone or whatever the blah, 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 whatever the case may be. All right, buy stop at this. All right. And then the take uh, the SL is down here. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, you can see the very next day it broke. All right. And what he was saying, what, uh, what the strategy says is you trail your stops up. You see how it's going up? So see how my risk? All right, matter of fact, let me do it this way. Let me do it this way so you can see. And all right. Let's just do it from, let me just do a standard 100K, a one lot, so you can see this better. Oh, uh, no, let me do it this, 10K. All right. All right, so we're going to go from here. All right. You in the trade now? And let me see. 175 for each one. Hope you're following along. All right. So my stop loss was here. 
and my take profit is here. All right. As you can see, you just bring it up each single every single day. You bring it up. All right. You see how you see what I'm getting at? You see how the risk. So if it does retrace on you, the risk management is there to you know either break even. If you get to a certain point and you had 100 pips, you break even. I mean, you bring your stop to break even or you just continually trail. All right. Let's go. We're bringing it up. All right. That's next day, it closed out. You bring it up. Now look at your risk. You had one to two risks now. All right. Let's bring it up some more. All right. Look at that. Now look, you see how this EMA is going up? You up here. You get what I'm getting? You see what I'm getting at? It came back in touch. Now look, boom. It did come back and touch the uh, SM, uh, SMA right here. But at the same time, if it touch, you still look. You, you still would, uh, had about oh, a few pips, about 22 pips, all right? But by the time it get there, I would already took my profit. I'm going to be honest with you. But you see what I'm getting at, all right? Or you could have just kept it back here and uh, been good to go, all right? But you see what I'm getting at? You see how – let's go back. You see how – let me go right here. All right. Hope that made sense. All right. Up here. Me personally, if it's up here, hey, you never go wrong by taking pips, taking profits. All right. If you look right here, let's just say you kept it back here. Right. You can tra you can trail your stops, but let's say you kept it all the way back here. See how it came back here and it touched. All right. And then it shot up to 200. No, why was it 230? Shouldn't be there. All right. And then, boom, look at that. So it took a few days, right? It took a few days. You got in on July 15th, and you closed out August. So... Uh, in about 15 days, you made 200 something bucks. You get what I'm saying? All right. Me personally, I don't trail the stops like that unless I'm going for a longer, longer term. Uh, I keep it pretty much like this. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest. I do one to ones because the simple fact, if I'm trading uh, uh, several pairs, if I lose one, the rest of the pairs make up for it. All right. Let's get out of this. And let me show you my loss. So it is not always going to be peaches and cream. All right, but I'm going to show you some risk management, not risk management, supply, I mean, support and resistance. All right. As you can see, this is September. All right, September. All right, as you can see, one, two. But if you look left, this is where I made the mistake at. I didn't look left. All right. If you look left, you can see that this price bounced off it several times. It, it definitely bounced off that one, two. And look, we back off bouncing off that price again. All right. What I did was this. All right. I was like, you know what? This third time it might go up again. So look here. If you look down here, the if we go up the scenario or the trade strategy is 71. So what you would do is. 20% times uh, 71. That's the five period moving average. All right. For all you math buffs out there, just go to your screen. 20% times 71. And that is 14.2. All right. 14.2. All right. You come to your handy dandy tool and at the top of here, you go 14 point uh, two. Uh, I hate 
Let's just do this. I ain't got time to be. Just for sake for sakes of shits and giggles, it's 14.2. All right. My bad. All right. And then up here is your buy stop. Let me go back some. Your buy stop. All right. So you have your right here, and then you go 14.2 down here. All right, let's just do that. All right. You can see this, and then that's 138 and 138. Eight, 138. Now, here's another tool. Write this down. All right, I go to Forex Screener, and I go EuroCAD. All right. On the monthly, it's strong buy. Weekly, strong buy. Daily, sell. But I think when I took this trade, it both said strong buy. So that's another tool. All right. But the biggest thing is look left. All right. If it's bouncing off there, I would wait. I'm going to be honest. If I was to see this again, I screenshot it and put it in my folders in my journal. Look left. If I see this set up again, I will not be enticed by FOMO. And I'm like, I'm out. All right. So we took that buy stop. Look, it, it triggered us in the next day. So buy stops normally are pending orders and sell stop and buy stops. Pending orders, let's just say pending orders, are on this strategy are in place to stop us from getting to, you know, trades when it has a um, consolidation. All right. You can see right here. Here was another one. This, I think, was a Friday or whatever. And it went about six days like this. In my mind, I should have been like, you know what? Let me just get out. Let me just get out because I don't like the way this goes. And what happened? Boom. All right. So in about six or four or five days, if it's just sitting there, just get out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Because what I've seen is that typically it's going to tell you exactly which way it's going in a few days. It's not going to take two weeks. Now, some might. Some pairs are slow. And look, 100, 138 pips. All right. Uh, and then we took the one loss for the month all right so uh currently if you look over here one two three four five six so we six trades and one loss so uh we're six and one right now oh i'm sorry seven trades one two three four six seven seven trades so we're seven and one i mean six and one i'm sorry six and one all right you get what i'm saying so let's just say 100 200 300 400 500 600 we lost one that's five you up 500 for the month you get what i'm saying that's what i'm talking about risk management all right so we have let's just do this again one all right trade one all right 100 Let's just do 50, 50. All right, trade two, 50. Trade three, 50. Let's just do this. I'm, I'm tired of doing all that. Trade four, 50. Trade five. I'm breaking it down Barney style for you. 50 trade six 50 trade seven minus 50. all right get what i'm saying so let me break out my handy dandy calculator for all you numb nuts all right all right look first trade 50 second trade 50 all right third trade 50 fourth trade 50 fifth trade 50 sixth trade 50 seventh trade minus 50 250 get what i'm saying you don't have to be 100 percent right all the dang time pretty simple right all right let's back out of here all right, as you can see, all right, and let's go over here. 
as you can see all right now here's another way you can do it so right here i'm just gonna go over the trades that we won this month as you can see they're pretty clear and cut and dry all right look at that one all right two we still in actually yeah we've been out of this one but we kept it going because this one says 105 actually all right 105 i was trying to see if it actually made it all the way up but that's pretty much that one trade we won all right as you can see right here these were pretty ugly so i was kind of hesitant about getting into it all right and uh cat you can see right here you got 60. this one is actually done too as well uh 608 608 all right boom and right here pretty plain and simple right one two buyout that was pretty clean 50 50 pips all right hope you guys understood that so far i don't want to go too far out um i because i don't want to beat this dead horse even though i do all the time all right so here's the biggest thing all right looking back looking back on the key lessons I've learned uh, from building my trade from my trading failures is the importance of discipline, risk management, humility. I've learned that I need to stay focused on my trading plan and avoid impulsive decisions. Learned that I need to manage my risk and avoid over leveraging my account. And I've learned that I need to stay humble and recognize that the market is always right. These lessons have helped me become more consistent and profitable trader. And then I hope you can do the same. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below on your own trading experiences and lessons you learn from them. Also, I have a um, Telegram group. Make sure it's in the description down below. Also have one-on-ones, all right? I truly encourage you to look at all the free stuff I'm giving before you reach out on one-on-ones, one-on-ones, because I definitely uh, am here for your time, but just know I have a life as well, so my time is money. So if you decide to do one-on-ones, I am here for you. I'm helping, but it does cost. But also, my Telegram group, I drop a lot of free knowledge, a lot of free gems. Other than that, you guys have a blessed trading week and a good month. Hope you had a good, profitable month.